Welcome back to Nether Creature Crafts. Today we're gonna make some creepy terrain. Celebrate Halloween. <laughs> All right, first things first, this spooky build needs a base. Foam board works just fine and is cheap and easy to source. After cutting out a shape, we bevel the edge at a 45 degree angle. Sorry, little dude. I knew I was gonna work with this weird baby doll thing, so I went ahead and took it apart. Safety Foreman Dave, representative OSHA here to say if you're cutting hard plastic with sharp tools, always be careful not to chop your finger off. Wh what? How, how did you get in my house? A crowbar! Until next time, stay safe. Bye! Alright, sorry for the interruption. I tried a bunch of different things when I was trying to figure out what I wanted this terrain piece to look like. Overall, I settled on this 3D printed ruin that I had laying around, so I built a mound just to bulk up the base a little bit. After that, the next day, I saw that it had kind of warped the foam board, so I applied some PVA glue and paint on each side to balance it back out. Then I added some sculpt mold to the base just to bulk it up more and add a little bit of detail. After the sculpt mold was all dry, took a bunch of rocks and started putting them around in a circle because if you're gonna have a ritual circle you gotta have some stonehenge like rocks so using a hot glue gun i just kind of put them around kind of making it look like a rib cage for this weird creature coming out of the ground next i used some glue to seal down some more rocks and sand to add some variation to the textures on the ground i wanted this to look buried under years of neglect I used watered down glue over all of it to really seal it in. That's what's in that jar. And then here I made a PVA glue and paint mix as well as a PVA glue, excuse me, paint and sand mix to cover the entire piece before painting. The sand and glue mix will be used on the smooth surfaces of the doll to make it look like stone. Once that was all done, I took it outside and applied a zenithal highlight. Now we're ready for some paint. I use browns and greens and browns and blues. For the most part, covering the ground with the brown and green and a lot of blue and a little bit of purple for the stone, just to give it a cold feel. Cool, once that was all dry, I knew I wanted the ruins on this little stone to kind of glow. To get that effect, I used some titanium white and a really small brush just to kind of fill in the ruins. I wasn't super specific about filling them in. If there's a little overspill, that's gonna be fine. It's gonna kind of look like it glows that way. Tesseract Glow by Citadel to cover up that white 
It's the only expensive paint I used here. Everything else was just cheap craft paint. But if you need green slime or glow, this is the way to go. Give it a try. At this point, you could definitely call it done. But I've really been enjoying oil washes. So thinning down some cheap oil paint with odorless paint thinner. We added some raw umber to some dark green and black to make a gnarly wash. Best part of oil wash is how it gets in the cracks and the crevices. And after you can use more paint thinner and a little paper towel just to wipe off any excess on any of the high parts of the terrain or model you're working on. All right, now onto some flux. So we're gonna take some PVA glue, water it down, and summon our glue brush. This is just a brush I'm using, it's an old one. Something you're not too worried about getting glue all over. You're gonna slather on some watered down PVA glue and sprinkle on some flock. After that, we're gonna take some more watered down PVA glue, put it all over the top of that, call it a day. That green sauce though, I really just use that jar to keep watered down PVA from build to build. That way it doesn't dry up and you can use it again. subscribe hope you guys have a great day hope this has been helpful and inspires you to get out there and craft use your imagination you know all that jazz until next time i'll see you on the next build when we do a halloween spooktacular